The first three words that come to mind when I think about eVesign are exciting, original, and challenging. Hi, my name is Guy. I'm a senior scientist here at eVesign. My team is working on finding new way to expand what's possible to do with gene editing. Specifically, we use eVosign's technology to engineer new gene editors in the hope of finding new ways to treat diseases. eVosign's approach to protein engineering is different than what's been done so far because Rather than looking around a certain protein sequence and finding new sequences that are very close to the original sequence, we use machine learning models to learn the design rules of how nature is designing proteins and using these rules to make new protein sequences that are not found in nature but could have very useful properties. And then we go on to make these proteins and test them in high throughput and figure out if they really do have the properties that we're looking for. Protein engineering is going to play a major role in many industries. A lot of products and processes that can benefit from protein engineering, in addition to medicine, of course, and agriculture and other things that have to do more directly with biology. We believe in chemical synthesis, making processes that currently are relying on harsh organic solvents that are harmful to the environment, using proteins to do that in water, which is environmentally friendly. It can also play a major role in recycling. My advice to people who want to come and work here at Iwazine is to understand the challenge of protein engineering and to understand why this is such a complicated problem. It's not just the enormity of the sequence space that you have to work through and find ways to sort through, but it's also the combinations of different mutations. Each one of them can contribute a certain amount to the property of the protein you're trying to engineer, to the phenotype of it individually, but in combinations, there are totally different contributions. In other words, it's non-additive. And once you have an understanding and appreciation to the magnitude of the problem, then you can start to think about solutions and ways to address that, which is what we do here. I feel very fortunate in having been around to see Vuzang grow from almost the very beginning to where we are today and to take part in this wonderful journey. When we started, there were only four of us in the lab, and I remember unpacking centrifuges and thinking about how we can start doing experiments while we're still waiting for equipment to arrive. Every day was new, and every week was just a roller coaster. And in what seems to be a much longer period of time than than it is because it's only been a little more than a year. We've grown from that into around 60 people. I'm really happy to be a part of it and I'm really enjoying the interactions with all of the people here, on the commercial team, on the operational team, and on the scientific team that we have. Everybody is a world-class expert. Being involved in, in all of that has also been a learning experience, both about new ways to engineer proteins, but also just to see how to grow a company. There's an ambition here to tackle the hardest problems in medicine and how we do things in a more sustainable way. But also, what I really liked about it is that we're developing a new technology. We're not just developing a product, we're developing new tools to arrive at solutions that currently are impossible to have. And, well, that's very exciting as a scientist to work on and to be a part of.